At the risk of turning into one of those channels um, where James Cleverly pops up a lot, like with, well, I'm sure you could all think of them, the Jeff Taylors and the Simon Webbs and other channels of the world where James Cleverly seems to obsess them. I will share this particular news article, which I hit upon after talking about him earlier. Tories still need to find 150 candidates following MP Exodus. And James cleverly informs us we've got a terrific pool of candidates. He doesn't say for what, though. <laughs> and that's the problem. What's this terrific pool of candidates? Are they going to be part of your new national service scheme, James? They're going to be... Uh... The Conservative Party still have to find candidates to... Standing around 150 constituencies, the party admit. So just shy of a quarter of them <laughs> candidates constituencies in Britain. A source said the party had candidates in around three in place in three quarters of the seats in Great Britain. That would mean it had only filled 474 seats, leaving 158 to be found. The party does not usually fill candidates in Northern Ireland. I wonder why. And actually, I don't, I'm well aware why. <laughs> The deadline for candidates to be nominated is the June the 7th, and today it's the 26th of May. So uh, you'd better get a crack on, hadn't you, with this pool of terrific candidates of yours, uh, 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 James? The task has been made harder because a large number of authorities have recently announced they will not be standing at this election. Wonder why about that as well, I'm sure. The number of Thorium MPs standing now has surpassed the Conservative Party set in record set in 1997 when 75 stood down. 78 Thorys have so far announced they will leave Parliament in this election. The most senior of these was Michael Gove, who made his announcement on Friday evening. A Thory said the Conservative Party is well prepared, with three quarters of seats already selected with excellent Conservative candidates. They're probably terrific as well. Best ever candidates. Nothing particularly unusual. James Cleverly, the Home Secretary, was asked about the large number of candidates who have not been yet been chosen on Sky News on Sunday morning. The selection process has been going on. There were lots of places where the selections were just on the verge of happening. I've been chairman of the party. You always have to do selections right up until the last minute. There is nothing particularly unusual of that. We've got a terrific pool of candidates. Asked why the Prime Minister had called general election without having selected all its candidates, well, we can su suggest a number of reasons for that. Uh, Mr Cleverly said the reason we've called the election now is we've seen inflation return to normal levels. We see the economic head indicators heading in the right direction. We're in a position now where we can show our plan is working. There's always going to be pros and cons for any time of election. I'd much rather be campaigning in the early spring than late autumn. But we are ready to make what is a bold move because we're confident of our offer to the British people. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough. What you have, uh, I, I could call it lens about that, but I think the phrase is satirise itself. Let's see how many of these candidates you find in the next oh, two weeks or so.